Well, getting back to Irene, a team from RIT has been out documenting the damage from that storm. They're taking aerial photos of flooded areas using technology they say may change the way people respond to natural disasters. Our team has Adam Chodak joins us. Now, Adam, I know this project is, is getting some national attention from some of the emergency responders. Yeah, it absolutely is, John. The technology has been employed in three major disasters now. Over in the Schenectady area, emergency crews have their pictures right in the center of the room over there. Today, we talked to the team behind the technology. Yeah, this is not a lightweight pocket digital camera. No. No, this is one of those cameras that cost more than most homes. This is what is called the WASP sensor. It was originally developed for the U.S. Forest Service under a NASA grant to detect and map wildfires. You got it. Its architects are RIT engineers Don McCune and Jason Falring. They threw together four different cameras to take state-of-the-art aerial pictures of natural disasters. Okay. We want to be able to provide the, the decision makers, the, the disaster managers, uh, information products that they can use to facilitate better decision making. You can kind of see there's all sorts of debris all over the place. Right after Hurricane Irene, Fallring flew the big sensor over a creek just west of Schenectady. By you know, doing a real simple thresholding algorithm, it actually pokes out where a lot of the major water systems are. In non-techie talk, that means they can pinpoint flooded areas quickly. All cool, but where this system eclipses others is in its ability to process images quickly. And they actually process on the fly in certain situations, so we can actually have the imagery available when we land the airplane. That's exactly what they did in Haiti after the earthquake. They also developed maps for the Japanese government post-tsunami. The issue there was to very quickly turn around maps that could be taken out into the field by, uh, by disaster managers in, in Japan. As you might imagine, people have come and knocking, including New York's Office of Emergency Management. They're ecstatic with what we've been giving them recently. The ultimate goal is to move the technology into the business world where it can really take off. Until then, RIT plans to fine tune it, keep it in-house, and use it as a teaching tool. Reporting live, Adam Chodak, 13 WAM News.